Morning guys. Today what we're going to do is we're going to um, try and put some midgy screen across all the vents and the holes that are still within the van. Midges and wasps and bugs can get inside these places, um, lay wasp nests and all that sort of stuff which you don't really want to happen. If you look down here, right, we have the uh, vent for the back of the fridge and there's also a vent up the top. So we're going to take them out and we're going to wrap the uh, gauze on the inside, stick it all down, I'll show you how we do it and then I'll put them back on. Same time, we're going to come up with a plan for the vents around the uh, hot water system. Also around the van, there is vent on this side here and there's two on the other side of the van, same as this. And one of those is for the microwave and the other one is for the overhead. What's that fucking thing above the stove? Exhaust? One is for the overhead exhaust fan. So we'll um, have a different way that I'm going to do them. And I'll show you what I've done. All the stuff I've bought from Bunnings. We'll show you what the stuff is. And um, we'll get to it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unscrew. There's one screw either side. There's a little clip on here that pushes up. Be handy if Ros was here helping. But again, no. Nope. Like that. And then once I've unscrewed these screws, then it will come out. I'll do that with you in a sec. Okay, and making sure that the two clips are up. Pulls out like that. If you have a look just inside here, so this is the back of the fridge. Right, what we don't want to happen is we don't want the midges or the mosquitoes and stuff coming in through the vent, going up through the side and working their way into the van itself. Alright, I could turn around and unscrew these. However, at the moment, it's all silicon to the van, which stops any dirt and dust and crap going through it. So I won't worry about that just now. I will show you how we are going to apply the midgy screen once we go inside. I won't bore you as we've taken the other one off. I'll take that off now and we'll get them done. I'll show you the end result once they're back on. But for the time being, we'll move inside and we'll show you how that we cut it out and put it on. Thank you. Okay guys, we've been to Bunnings and we picked up some insect guard. It's for small insects. It's actually called Mini Weave. So if you're looking for it in Bunnings, it's the purple one. I've also picked up some magnetic tape, which we'll use on the other vents. I'm going to secure the screen with a glue gun. This is just from Officeworks, and you've also got your refills over here. Before I secure it, I'm actually gonna wipe it down with a bit of metho, just around the edges to make it, make it nice and clean. Then we'll cut to size and go from there. Okay, so we've laid out the midi mesh on the kitchen bench here. I'm actually going to just lay the vent on top of the midgy mesh and allow a bit of a seam around the outside because the, the mesh will go actually over this section, not the flat section. So if you cut it there, it's going to be too short. So what we'll do is we'll just allow a big seam. So I wiped around the edges with the metho just to clean it a bit and it's going to go on this side. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually probably going to trim it a little bit more until I get it right. I might start from the top actually first, but I want to cut the corners diagonal and fold it as if you're wrapping a present. So it's not actually bulky and flappy, so it's kind of firm. So, can you just hold that there? Put your finger there, babe. And it'll be down here. So I want to kind of cut it about here. If you want, you can measure this out properly to start with, but this is our first one. So, I'm just gonna, it's a bit of trial and error. Blind by the seat of our pants, but like I said, warts and all, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we'll bring you along for the ride anyway. What I might do is I might glue the top first and then glue the corner so it's folded down neatly so it'll end up like a little sort of pleat. We actually Googled this on YouTube and believe it or not, the only thing on there was American stuff and there was nothing at all like this. Okay, so that's good. Now what I need to do is plug my glue gun in to heat it up. So the glue gun's heated up. So what I'm gonna do 
is put a row of glue along here. Okay, that'll do. Now what I'm gonna do, it's really hot, so you don't burn yourself. Push this down without burning myself along the edge. Push it down. First part done. I might do the other side and then, and then do the ends. Okay, I need another stick. Yeah, so I'll glue that down. Hot, yeah. But you glued your fingers together at school and art, didn't you? Fuck off. I won't get you using a silicon gun. Why? What's wrong with that? This is a mini gun. You pro it probably work better with the bigger guns. I've used the bigger guns before. And this one's probably a bit shit, actually. I oh, know. There we go. Okay, put this bit down. Press it in. Yeah, that side sticks better. Okay, we'll just let that dry for a bit. Okay, so I want to make it like a present. Fold it down. I might put a strip of glue just in the meat in this section here. And then I'm going to go back and fold these in and just trim it up. I can actually just probably trim that corner now. Like that. And then we'll fold it in like that. So I'll just trim the corner off. Fold it in. Down. Bit warm on the fingers. I'll put an extra bit of glue on those end bits. And I'll, do is I'll just put a little bit in here. A little blob. Fold it in. Dave will just hold his finger on it for a minute. Same with this end. Okay, we'll do the other end. Okay, and layer of glue. Another bit. <laughs> Shut up. Yes, so I just hit my head on the range hood. Even having this on here, if it gets dusty, you know, down the track, you can pretty much just rip it off and redo it. And what we might do is carry a carry the glue gun in the caravan and some sheets already cut out to size so we can replace them if need be. Right, now we'll crack on with the other one. Then we'll show you what we're going to do with the magnetic tape and those other small little holes. Um, we won't bore you doing the next one, we'll just knock it out now and then once we've done that we'll get on and show you the rest of it. So we'll just let it dry before we put it back on spin and it. I'll make sure it's all actually... Spin it, spin it around, spin it around. It's all actually pressed down properly so you can see that it's all covered. The air can still get through but yeah before we put it on I'll, I'll make sure it's all properly secure even maybe run a little bit of more glue here and there but other than that looks good okay so we finished the uh two big ones better go out and stick them back on the van and once i've put them on i'll give you a gander after that i'll tackle the other ones and i'll show you how we're going to do them a little bit different okay if you haven't seen him behind the fridge this is behind the fridge at the top So there's the first one complete. Okay, what I did have to do though was poke two little holes through the mosquito or through the midgy net just so that the little prongs could poke out that I could clip these over. And she's done. Pretty easy and pretty happy with that. Okay, what we've done is we've measured the distance along here, along here, up here and up here, and we've cut four bits of magnet magnetic tape to uh, size, 
and then we cut another lot to size rosins inside sticking the mesh to it and I'm going to stick these to the outside of this so now I've stuck three on one across the top one down the side and one across the bottom I'll now pull the backing off of this one times like these I wish I had nails and we'll stick it up here wait for Roz to come out with her one stuck with the uh, mesh and we'll attach it so Roz is uh, sticking her magnets to the mesh same way that I stuck the ones out there we cut the mesh a little bit bigger to make sure that it covers it once Roz has finished sticking the magnets on we will then trim around the magnets and then we'll just trim very close right along here Now we'll go and place it on the van and we'll see how it sits. And then I think to protect these while we're traveling, I will keep them in a snap lock bag. So they won't go on the van while traveling, just when we pull up. In the midgy prone sort of areas. So it'll just sit straight over the top like that. Nice and flush. So there we have a simple quick method of attaching the midgy screen. We'll stop any midges going in through the vent. Yeah, that's it. Just put it just below that bottom vent and it'll sit flush. It's, it sits around the vent, so it's actually pretty good. And there you have it. We've now got a couple more on the van to do. We've got uh, one more on this side. We have uh, three on the other side, so we'll do that. And um, Taking them off, just be very gentle and then store them somewhere like this so they don't get, um, if they get dirt on them, they're not gonna, oh, it's a magnet, but you best to store them some, like in a bag. Keep them flat. So guys, that was just a uh, another quick little uh, job to do to the van. We've got a few others to do. Um, went and saw our car today and it's progressing along. Looks like we will have it second week of March. All right, so then we can get out on the road and take us for a bit of a test run of the van. Um, Alright, remember, please like the vids if you do like them. If you don't, well hey, such is life. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And if you have any comments or any feedback, please drop them in the uh, box down below. Okay, it was just reported on the radio that a man was uh, run over by a rental car. When the police spoke to him, he said it hurts. <laughs> Alright, on that note, um, before I get hurt, I'll... Um, sign off and uh, we'll catch us for the next vid. Take it easy. See ya. Bye.